I am really cool because I am a man who is a nice man to play girls. Thank you. Thank thank you. Yeah. Don't know what the fuck that was, but thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. That was good. Get us loose. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, John. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a scorcher today, Did you huh? get those quarterly reports? Yeah, a little bit. Did you talk to Mr. Jorgensen? Oh, uh, yeah, he didn't. Because I sent Mark after him, but he wasn't yeah. giving. Oh, he dude. wasn't budging on that oh, freaking yeah. fiscal expense report. You know no, what absolutely. I mean? absolutely. You I feel mean, me? Quarterly projections, though, they're looking good this year. Not after last year's fiscal expenses all right listen that was all with the the quarterly reports were projected to be abysmal no absolutely but now look we brought up our quarterly reports what are we doing what are we doing here man <laughs> that's what we did when one that's what we did when we played golf today we were playing golf like that's some true. rich businessmen that's a callback it is and that was a callback very good i'm sort learning of. that's I'm kind ne- of it's more I'm of learning a ma- i'm learning things yes you are yeah so and what happened to golf today I shot great. I shot a perfect game. Par. Perfect game. 100%. Didn't miss a shot. That's great. Yeah. Didn't uh, lose 15 balls today. Didn't sh- throw my clubs on the ground. Didn't slam one of my See, clubs. See, the thing is about Ash when he goes golfing, he's, okay. he's very temperamental because you're weak-minded. You're very – the thing is golf is not for the weak men well, mentally. that's why I play it. What? That's why I play golf. To get because, stronger? No, because I'm so not a, a weak, <laughs> temperamental man. Well, your your strokes say otherwise. Okay. Here is Oof. the scorecard from last, or from today. Look, can I read it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Read what you want to I read. I just want to make sure you're not doctoring anything. Oh, uh, I don't need to doctor anything. Oh, fuck you. That's a lot of numbers. Uh, so on the first nine, uh, Carlos, on the first hole, got a five out of a par five. That's right, baby. That's what Alta High School varsity golf team does for me. On that same hole, Ash and Gilbert got a 23. I got an 8. That's still not good. Actually, you know what happened on that hole? The first hole of the front nine, yeah. You sliced it into the river. Okay. Then you jumped into it and started swimming for it, and then you yeah. started freaking out. Yeah, okay. that, those balls were expensive, bro. Seven fifty for, like, three balls? You bought women's balls. No, I didn't buy women's balls. Isn't it kind of crazy how they have gender-specific balls in golf? <laughs> But they weren't women's yes, balls. Yes, they were. I literally asked the guy, I was like, hey, are these chicks' balls? And he's like, no, dude, you're fine. That's what, you literally asked him. I literally asked him. That was your main concern. Because the that. last, uh, because we talked about it earlier that day, and I was like, hey, like, oh, man, I like colored balls. He's like, yeah, usually, like, women, like, play with those. And I was like, oh, okay. Typically, they do. And then I, yeah, okay, but guys can play it, too. I mean, fucking Rory McIlroy. He, he's very, like, he's pinked out, bro. He's wearing fucking pink, everything. He's got very pink progressive balls. to actually play with colored balls nowadays and uh balls of color yeah balls of color there you go god carlos i'm working i'm working to improve myself with everything i speak about. no absolutely you know? i can see it shalom. personally shalom but, but oh chicks chicks total, total broads. broads what what are yeah. you doing god are you gonna have another ben? covid attack over there dude our producer ben or audio yeah. producer mm-hmm. ben tested negative for coronavirus yay <laughs> But his dad tested positive. Ooh. Yeah, not good. And then Ooh. he tested negative, and now he's here. So I'm yeah. hoping that you're clear. Where'd Thank you get the test done? So I went to... So it's so Maybe you want to come here for a second yeah. and talk into the mic and explain your experience with the testing? No, we get to see... Everyone gets to see Ben. thing is, like, I don't want to just translate. First on, first on yeah, screen no. experience? Yeah, so just talk into the mic. Ben, this is your big debut. Don't fuck it up. I swear to God. Hey guys! Oh God damn! Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! Jesus You're Christ! Done. You're done. Get out. Just so, yeah. so, what was the testing like? Just explain. What well, I'll tell you the whole process. So I just want a part. Of yeah, it. Okay. Just, part of the process. So okay. after you, they tell you like, hey, meet at this time at this date. Like a hooker. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So um, not that I've solicited a process. We. I had to get there like really early on. It was like Saturday mm-hmm. because usually the lines are like hella long. So I got there around like seven o'clock. Okay. And they didn't start testing till 7.30. Mm-hmm. So everyone's in their car. So, I mean, like, just more specific, like, the nitty, do they just shove? Like, oh, the yeah. Nose? So I'm waiting in my car, and then some lady in, like, a hazmat suit walks up to it. Oh, hell yeah. And then she's like, okay, I'm going to take your, like, temperature, and then I'm going to stick this thing way up in your nose for, for about, like, 10 seconds. And I'm like, okay, that sounds not too bad. But then she pulls it out, and it's about, like, it's about as long as this. So, like, what, six inches? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she shoves it up, and I'm like, oh. Uh, uh, 
for like ten gag. whole seconds. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, she pulls it out, and I felt like oh, I relief. Was vomit. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. But, but all in all, good experience. You tested. I'll do it again. Tested negative. Tested yeah. negative, everyone. Really that's what's important that here. Thank you, Ben. I really hope that was. Also, a good thanks test for wearing your mask you and doing your part. To me. Because I swear to God, if I get Corona, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I'm You're gonna, gonna be, be angry. different. You've been asking for it. Oh, please. You've I'm been fine. asking for it for not wearing a mask. I wear a mask when I ha- when I go places. When I literally go indoors, I wear a mask, because it's required by law. I'm sure. The thing is, Utah's been having problems with that. Yeah, I I know like a ton of people that are like, this is bullshit. I'm not doing that. They can't enforce it, and they really can't. They can just deny service. I don't understand why it's such a problem for people. Because the whole thing about like, oh, it's infringing on our rights. It's how the government's going to control us. The thing is like. I don't think the government needs to use masks to control us because if you have social security, yeah, it's because they if, you have, do. if you register your car, if you wear a seatbelt. Yeah. And the thing is, like, regardless of what you believe in terms of Walmart making you wear a mask, mm-hmm. which has now been enacted as of today, then it's a private business. They can do what they want. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Just, why are people so silly? I don't know. Because people, like, if I told you today you can't do something, would you not want to go do it? No, I wouldn't, because I obey like authority. If you, oh, like if you, I crumble. But under I have authority. no authority. Do you know how bad? Oh, it was, but you're you do telling have me an to authoritarian do something. issue. I've noticed that. How do past. you know? I don't know. I just feel like you just feel like it. Well, kind of. I also felt like you were kind of a kiss ass in high school to teachers. To be you honest. hadn't. You never had a class with me, you idiot. Yeah, I understand, but I just felt like that's how the vibe you always gave off. Like you're because I did talking, well in high school. You were always talking about the teachers, like, oh yeah, Mr. So and So, like me and him, buddy, buddy, you know. Because I can talk to people, I did well in school, and now yeah. you're crucifying me for. I'm that. not crucifying you for shit. I'm just saying, like, I feel like you're a bit of a kiss ass to teachers and authority. Like, if a cop came in here and was just like, "Hey," like you'd be like, "Oh, officer, hey, how's it going? I'm Carlos. Like, let me show you around the place." What, what, what are you not? What are the thing you is, do? Like, what am I supposed to do to a cop? If you, if a cop came in here yeah. by mistake, then yeah. they would shoot me and Ben, yeah. and they're like, "Were these guys attacking you?" To you. And I'd sit there with my 40 and just be like, nah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I that know has happened guys. in the past. Hmm? That has happened in the past. That you've been shot? Uh, no, but like, there was this cop in Texas or something. It was a woman cop. Okay. She went into the wrong apartment. Yeah. And there was a black man who lived in it. Okay. Because it wasn't her apartment. And she shot and killed him. Okay. He thought someone was breaking into his apartment, so obviously he went down trying to like... No, so, I'm saying so like, like she, the police officer just saw him and shot yeah. him and killed him. Yeah. Because well, he was being aggressive. But he wasn't. Was, was he being aggressive? Well, I think he came. To, well, he thought someone was like in his apartment. He was like, "Who the fuck is in my apartment?" And then he was like, okay. "But okay." Yeah. No, I, I I don't doubt that it's like happened, but like also like I'm not saying. I'm, go ahead. Like going back to the whole authority thing, like you just like I don't know. Like the cop walked in here and was like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" Just be like drinking beer. Like, you know, they're just cops. They're just normal people. You don't have to treat them just because they have a little badge that says police officer and their fucking badge number. You don't have to fucking really listen to him the law, <laughs> like like i know that sounds really dumb but like you really don't like if it's down well, to what, a psycho- do you mean, what do you mean by listen to them like it goes down to like a psychological thing right like a fucking cop tells you hey get on the fucking ground you don't have to get on the ground um you know at it's, the given no, time it's a psychological world, thing man like if i like i learned about this in Rosanna i'm talking about class. the stanford prison experiment thing is p- police officers are given authority yes. like in the Stanford prison experiment mm-hmm. by Philip Zimbardo, okay. Dr. Philip Zimbardo, okay. he was at Stanford and he conducted a study where he gathered a group of students to be prisoners and yeah. a group of students to be yeah. guards. And then the, like, the, the, the students that were the guards, right, they went mad with power. But they, didn't, they went like, mad yes, with like, authority power. They were like, oh, we're an authority. And like, all the prisoners obeyed them because of that right so i'm not but it really so, but i'm but saying like that these still guards happened. didn't really have authority they just said they right but regardless if, even if they did or not they were still abusing their power yeah i understand so i don't understand what you're saying what i'm saying is is like you have an authoritarian issue What's you up, like guys? to kiss ass start the yeah. i do not like to kiss ass i like to kiss women okay anyways hey guys welcome back this is episode five cardigans and day drink don't fucking piece of shit we don't need to announce every episode yeah we do come on it's our thing it's like how i open up a beer can for every episode you know remember what you do you want to talk about how last week you said you were going to quit drinking for a week? i don't know what you're talking about you know what happened last I oh my out. god I was drunk that entire last week. i don't ep- even know what you're talking about actually maybe that was the problem you didn't drink at all last episode and that was a mistake yeah no absolutely i agree 
It was your birthday, and I wanted. To, I threw up decorations. Yeah. I planned so much for this epi- and I for that episode. I appreciate that, man. Actually, that was, no, for this was, episode, the it original was great, episode. But things didn't never align. do that again. Ben had to poop. You yeah. were being. This one's lost in the vaults, folks. You're never gonna fucking see it. Like it's, we're gonna bury that shit deep. If you guys pay money to our Patreon, you can get exclusive access to it. Yeah. I'll make a Patreon just so people can buy it. Do we have a Patreon? No, we don't have a Patreon. Okay. Buy uh, a big one. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know, man. I uh, don't. Yeah. Don't ever do that again, please. <laughs> What's wrong with your birthday? I hate it. It's gross. It's disgusting. It's a miserable day. No, it's, it's fine. It's just another day. That's all it is. Just another day. I just turned 20, 22. Exactly. So don't give it that much power. Just celebrate it and move on. Yeah, but why celebrate it for just another day? Because it's your day of birth. You wouldn't celebrate a, your, you wouldn't celebrate a Tuesday out of nowhere, would you? I mean, it depends on the day. Like if it was just a Tuesday, you wouldn't celebrate it, right? And then somebody just so happens to be born on a Tuesday, right? You, it doesn't matter. But it's we're celebrating the day of birth. Okay. Yeah. Just like but how millions we should... of births happen all the time, so you're good. But things like we would celebrate people we care about, yeah. or in this case, as of today, the states we care about, with Pioneer Day. You're right. Hooray! That's coming up. Did well, we technically become a... on this episode? When did, it's, what did we become a state on Pioneer Day? We did not. But or I'm did saying we it's just the day get of here? Pioneers coming to. You. Well, actually, let's look it up. Yeah. It's also the Utah State Day. We also celebrate. It's Utah State Day. So okay. Utah celebrates every July 24th to all you non-Utahns out there, which is probably no one. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm know. sure, like, I, I, I listen... saw someone from Bangladesh watching us earlier. So we'll oh, yeah, watch. you saw them? The yeah. People. Saw my boy, Jing? Yeah. <laughs> Jing? Kind of love that guy. Yeah, fucking good dude. Think, so for maybe the one person that makes it this far, I would assume it's my friend Ethan, because I think he really does listen to it. You're so down on us. It's just this. self-deprecating. It's funny. Okay. Unless you don't like it, which I, I don't think you like my humor, but anyways. And I don't think you like mine, so we chose the best people to choose a podcast <laughs> together. All right. Pioneer, so Pioneer Day. Day. Want to read it? Yeah, I need to brush up on my reading. So according Thank to you. Google or Wikipedia. Pioneer Day is an official holiday celebrated on July 24th in the American state of Utah. With Wait, some... hold on. Is there like an African state of Utah? Is there a Chinese state of Utah? <laughs> Why did they have to specify it's the American state? I don't know. They, because there's probably somewhere else in the world with, like, Utah somewhere. Utah doesn't sound like... Or, or if you're just reading it, and you don't know where the Utah The American is. state of yeah. Utah. Yeah. Like, what if some, like, English... Well, state? why don't they just say in the United States... But what if, like, state, some, what if some, like, British dude's just, like, doing a research on something, like, look up an obscure holiday for something, and he stumbles upon this? Then I would think that's a dumb assignment. Now, I would, too. I'm sorry. You want to keep reading it? Yeah. In the American state of Utah, with some celebrations taking place in regions of surrounding states originally settled by Mormon pioneers. All right. And for celebrations, it says parades, fireworks, fireworks, rodeos, rodeos, and and green jello. Green (laughs) jello. Yep. Mm -hmm. How exciting. We have our own state. Do other states have specific days? I think, yeah, I think all 50 states have like a day. Let's look at the images. Utah's Pioneer Day. We're not going to celebrate any. Actually... I think it would actually be in good taste to celebrate these pioneer things and just get everyone in sick, and then we all just die of dysentery and COVID. It would truly be reminiscent. Did of... I tell you about Trek? Did I ever explain Yeah, we that talked to... about that okay. last episode. all right, just making sure. We can reflect on it really quick. Yeah. I what did you on... want to talk about? Nothing. I just wanted to make sure that I talked about it. This is what Ashton was doing. Yep. Yep. And it was cool. So for, at, for the audio listeners that might be there. What was the... This is a picture of a bunch of Utah Mormon pioneers pulling those hand carts with bison slash oxen and horses. And they're all wearing their sundresses, their bonnets, and their sun hats. I, and slacks. And go, slacks. Go ahead, Ben. I was reading some facts earlier. Ben was reading some facts earlier. And it said that the first group to actually get to Utah with Brigham Young didn't pull hand carts. And the first group... Okay, well, what? that is a fun fact. They didn't... Okay, so Ben just said... So what did they The fucking first pull? group of Brigham Young yes. did not pull... Oh, okay. Hand okay. carts. Wagon trains. That is a fun fact. Interesting. Wow. So your trek was a lie. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I. So it's a lot of religions, dude. I don't know what to say. I was going to ask you, what was your like worst memory or worst part of the whole entire thing? The worst, yeah, what was the worst part? Worst part, I was stuck with Dakota Denning. Ooh, <laughs> just really, name dropping the yeah. whole thing. Oh, fucking fuck <laughs> that, fine. dude. If you ever hear me, fucking hate you. <laughs> I I have so oh, much hatred. Can we talk about? People. That's a very funny story. Can we talk about what you said? Let's to his father. Five 
Well, I mean, there's a legality issue. I'm kind of on a liquidation about it. So. All right, all right. <laughs> Maybe next time. I promise. There's a there's a funny story involving the the family. Well, if you want to tell, are you not gonna tell now or? No, no, you tell. We got five minutes. Let's let's focus on something. We got else. five minutes. Five minutes to tell. Them the next yeah. Ten minutes. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So we Thank have fifteen you. minutes. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Sure. Well, yeah. Anyways, uh, Carlos, we had speaking of Utah, right? We do a lot of things here. We say a lot of weird things, like mountain. You know, we don't say our T's. Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Say water. 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 Say box. Box. Okay. Jace always tells me I say, say box fry sauce. weird. Fry sauce. You know fry sauce is only in Utah. Yeah. What would be your gift for Utah Pioneer Day? Like if you were to give a gift basket of things to people. A gun. A gun? <laughs> yep. Is that, the, is that what represents Utah? Yep. Guns. <laughs> I don't, I don't fucking know. I would give them a banana cream pie. Is that a Utah thing? I guess. I don't know. The, the, for, Do for, for, all the non, for all the non-Mormons on Pioneer Day, they have a little side holiday on the same day called Beer and Pie Day. Pie and Beer Day. And beer day. I don't know why that. Yeah. That's and, what they do? Yeah, they just drink beer and have pie. And that it's sounds good. like the 4th of July. They're hosting yeah. it like a Really? I hosted at a bar in Salt Lake. Ah, too bad you fuckers can't go. 22 years old, bitch. I got my shake. My name is Eduardo Juarez. Well, great. Now you just expose yourself. <laughs> you do oh. like... I Wait, wait. what was the last name? Juarez. Juarez. I like that. You look like a Juarez. Thank you. Am I saying it wrong? Yeah, you're saying my fake last name wrong. Juarez. 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 Vez. There you go. Okay, see? Here we go. Sound it out. But I would give people, if I were to make a gift basket to represent Utah, I think it'd be fry sauce. Mm-hmm. Garments. Garments. You can't get those. Can you Can you even buy them? You You can't buy them unless you're like a missionary or you're married. Can you and not just buy the them at a store? Yes. 100%. Oh, wait. Ben's dad actually works at a garment factory. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a manager. Oh, nice. No, you have to just be in the Endowed? Did you have to show like it a It means you have to be hung. I'm pretty sure. You have to have six inches or more <laughs> on your dick. Yeah, you just have to be packing heat. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I never got dug garments. So they like take you to the back Me neither. Yeah. Like, oh, They're yeah. just like, <clears throat> ooh. Sorry. Not, not going to cut it this time. Is, that what your dad, is your dad the head manager of dick measuring yeah, <laughs> over at the garment That's factory? That's how he got the job. That's actually his name. Oh. That's his name, Dick Ellisor. He goes by no shit. Rick usually. Oh, dude, I was about to have so much mad respect yes, if your and, dad yes, was, and. was actually fucking dick. No. Like Richard or something. No, it's not Richard. What is it? It's John. John? Yeah. Uh, that's a strong name. Jonathan. 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 That's a powerful name. And then he has to ruin it with Ellisor. I mean, come on. Yeah. Whoa, Sorry, whoa, Benjamin. Whoa. Hey, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Gilbert's pretty bad. Technically, it's not my real last name. It's my biological last What's name. What's your real last name? So I'm, I, I get confused on it all the time. What do you mean? Because on my mom's obituary, it says like Heidi K, K-A-Y, Daly, D-A-L-E-Y, and then Diamond. So I don't know. but well, like, One of those is probably like her maiden slash middle yeah, name. Yeah, but like on her headstone, it's like, it's Daly. Like it's under Daly, like D-A-L-E-Y. I would assume it's Daly. Ashton Daly. No, I think, but I like, like Diamond. A decent talk But I like show. Diamond. Diamond's cooler. You but that's you, my, my half-brother's name is Diamond, though. So, like, I don't know if he, like, picked that up from... Why didn't you ask your half-brother, like, hey, what's her last name? I don't know. Because I'm a half-brother, so I probably have a different last name, two different dads. So we probably wouldn't share the last name. And it's just like the names in Utah. Like, we always say stuff. We spell weird <sighs> things. Michaela? There's, like, a thousand fucking ways to spell Michaela, and they're all wrong and stupid. It's like one of those girls that say, like, hi, my name is Michaela with five Ys. Yeah. My husband's a Scorpio. And I'm a Pisces, so you know what that means. <laughs> Are you going to get sealed in the yes, temple? Yes, Kaylee, I know what that means. It means you're stupid. <laughs> there you go. That was me workshopping some bit. In. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. It's a good workshop. Thank you. You guys are going to be excited for the back half. But going back to what you're saying, you had a little test for us today. Right? Yes, so people in Utah and actually just all around the country mm-hmm. just pronounce things weird. Okay. Like how do you address people? Like a group of people. What up, y'all? No, I don't. I don't say, what up, y'all? No, I don't. That's say, what you say. No. Oh, guys, Ashton's here. What up, y'all? Yep, that's Ashton. I say what up, or like yo, or what's up, you guys. I say like you guys all the time. You guys. Hey, you, you guys. guys. Hey, you. Hello. Back the fuck up, man. Huh? Well, okay. Well, the good thing. One of the good things that this center-left leaning news network, the New York Times, has made is this cool 
test called How Y'all Use and You Guys Talk. So it was made by Josh Katz and Wilson Andrews, and they made this quiz that can determine where you're from in the region of the country by asking you a bunch of questions. So I thought okay. it'd be cool if me and Ashton and maybe Ben contribute to this. Okay. So, like, are we each going to answer a question? I mean, like, I mean, we're all just going to go together and just discuss all these options while continuing the test. Okay. So it's going to determine where we are in this, on the okay. country by asking us, like, questions about how we talk. Okay. So how would you aggress a group of two or more people? I would say you guys. Yeah. You I guys? Would, I would also say you guys. What the heck is yins? So Ben said it's... Yeah. It's like an Indiana it's a, thing. It's called Hoosier. Hoosier? Hoosier? Hoosier, like Hoors, like Hoosier. But you said this is like some Louisiana Cajun no, talk, right? No, no, no. He said Indiana. Oh, see, what, what the heck? I, I fucking listen, Ben. Pony. Fucking listen. Yins. Yins. All right, all these sound Yuans. 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 Who says Yuans? I don't know. Probably fucking like Cajun East people. Coast. Yuans. South Coast, maybe. Yes. Yuans. No, that's Yuz. That'd be Yuz. Yuz. That'd be like Yuz. Hey, like let me New tell you something. Yeah, let me tell you some. Hey, Demarco, where's the money? All right, so you guys. So we would say one. you guys. Next. Do you call the sweet spread that is put on a cake frosting or icing? That, see, I think I took this test a while ago, but I usually call it frosting. I call it frosting. In Utah, West Coast, baby. I've heard both. Well, I mean, yeah, but usually I think. But, I, what, it, but like, what, like, would, what you would you do? call it, Ben? Like, if someone's like, hey, will you put blank on the cake? Here, actually, let's read. Okay, let's do this. So let's read all the options first. Frosting. So let's read all the options first and then discuss. Okay. So for what is the sweet spread that you, you put on a cake? Is it frosting or icing? The options are frosting, icing. Frosting and icing refer to different things. Are they – do people – aren't they I the same I think there's thing like regardless? a – no, no. I think there's like minute, like a minor difference in both. Okay, and then there's both, neither, other. Okay. I think uh, we can say both because, yeah. I've heard both. Yeah, yeah, I hear. But I would say both. Yeah. Frosting, frosting, frosting. yeah, I've heard mostly yeah, frosting. Okay. Do you pronounce C-O-T, cot, and C-A-U-G-H-T, cot, the same? I say it's same. Yeah, I say cot and cot. How could you say it differently? Uh, yeah, cot and cot. I think you would, like, emphasize the U-H. Yeah, cot. Coat. The fuck he's just saying to me? The fuck he's oh, just, just fucking caught, saying? I just caught COVID and chlamydia from the, my, my mumsy. I bash your fucking head in on right wheel. Oh, yeah, Ashton. Don't you fucking test me. Oh, Ashton, you, your mumsy gave me the clap. The fuck I you say? The, clap. the fuck you say about my mother? I was on a holiday, and she gave me a clap. Yeah. And she was like, oi, yeah. Bridger, you're looking nice tonight. <laughs> no, I'm going to Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fucking disgrace, mate. All right, yeah. So, so same. Yeah, same. I just can't imagine how you can say C-A-U-G-H-T. I don't know, probably. What kind of? God. God, huh? Uh, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Yeah, I, I took this test. I didn't get this question. I don't like. I don't call it anything. I just call it rain. Okay. Well, can you read all the options? Okay. Uh, sun shower. The wolf is giving birth. The devil is beating his wife. <laughs> <laughs> monkey's wedding. Fox's wedding. Pineapple rain. Liquid sun. I have no term or expression for this or okay. other. We don't have a term. Yeah. Oh man, isn't that a, such a cute thing? Domestic violence yeah. for a cute Devil little thing for wife. something Jesus that's so beautiful. Christ! I do people have has anyone ever said that in the history of time? I, I guarantee. Well, if they hadn't, then it would be on the list. I mean, but that's just so insane. Yeah, Ben, pull that up. So <laughs> that's a pretty scene, though, when yeah. rain falls while the sun is shining. Yeah, I'll call it pretty shower. I wouldn't call it anything. I just call it rain. Uh, let's rain just, while it's yeah. sunny. I have no term. Yeah. Okay. How do you pronounce C A R A M E L, otherwise known as caramel, caramel? So I say caramel. I, I say caramel. I use both pretty interchangeably. How do you use both? I, I use mo well, depending on the pussy. context. I use it's well, it's caramel. Car I'm not from here. Yeah, not from here. That's right. Yeah. Ben used to live in Florida for oh, seven yeah, months. Oh yeah, Ben lived in Florida. So he gets it. Disgusting state that should just be erased I agree. from in, this incorrect. world. Dude, no, you're wrong. But what? It's no. caramel. I we're say, getting we're getting well, I mean, if it's the, it's, the, it's the majority. Yeah. All right. So how, don't you, tell me to you get say caramel? caramel. Yeah, I All say right. caramel. Well, I, I use both interchangeably. Well, you're just this intellectual then. I don't know what to tell you. What do you call the long sandwich that contains cold cuts, lettuce, and so on? Okay, so I feel like it depends on how it's yeah. like the warmth. So a lot of people the temperature. Yeah. So I don't know. A lot of people. All right. Let's read the options real quick. Okay. So sub grinder, hoagie, hero. Poor boy, 
bomber, Italian sandwich, baguette, Sammy. I have no that, word that, for this. It's, it's a Sarni. Oh, really? That's an R. No, I'm pretty, yep, Sarni. Never heard of that. I have no word for this other. Listen, Grinder. I barely even know her. <laughs> I would say hoagie only because of it's always sunny. I call every sandwich I see a hoagie. Okay, I think most people just call it a sub. I call it a hoagie, yeah. But what do you call it, Ben? Sub. Sub? sub that's right. Sandwich. You're out. I want to have a hoagie. Let's go get a hoagie. Okay, what do you call the thing from which you might drink water in school? In a school? Bubbler? What are you going to Stoner High? Water bubbler? Stoner High Part 2? Drinking, <laughs> drinking fountain, fountain? Water fountain. So, I'll just call it a water fountain. That's what it does. Yeah, it shoots water. I used to say, I used to say drinking fountain. They're both. I feel like these are. Yeah, but they're like the same. But what do you what do you say, Ben? Ben says drinking fountain. All right, I guess okay. I'm out of this. Yeah. Once again. All right. What do you call the night before Halloween? Gate night. Trick. I said gate night. Gate <laughs> trick night. Trick night. Mischief night. Cabbage night. Goosey night. Devil's night. Devil's Eve. I have no word for this other. You know it's cabbage night, boys. You know what we do with the cabbages. No, yeah, I don't. I call it like Hallow's Eve or something just to fuck, fuck around, like Halloween, yeah, that... like Hallow's Eve. No, but this is the night before. Though. Yeah, the night, the night before, before Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, Hallow's Eve. No, I thought Hallow's Eve is like the night. Of... Isn't that? No, that's, that's no because Eve is on the verge of something, on the verge. But isn't of Halloween. Hallow's Eve like on November first? No, it's the day before Halloween. Okay, well, I don't call it anything. I don't call it anything either. I have no word for this. Okay. What would you call a sale of unwanted items on your porch in your yard, etc.? Tag sale, yard sale, garage sale, rummage sale, thrift sale, stoop sale, carport sale, sidewalk What's sale. stoop? Stoop is like another word for porch. Uh, jumble, jumble sale, car boot slash car boot sale. Uh, patio sale and other. I just call it, I just call it yard sale. Yeah, yard sale is pretty. Ta- tag sale. What kind of Cajun people make? Hey, that was how we head down and get to get to tags. Get to the tag sale. All right. I was like drunk in Australia. Like drunk in Australia. How do you pronounce C R A Y O N, otherwise known as crayon, which crayon. is pronounced, which is how you should pronounce it if you're you know smart. Okay, so do you pronounce it with one syllable, rhymes with man, with two syllables, sounds like crayon, with two syllables, where the second syllable rhymes with dawn, sounds like crown, other, crayon. Right. Yeah. Crayon. Crayon. Yeah. It's party yeah. on, crayon. Fuck yeah. Okay. How, how do you pronounce ant? A-U-N-T. Aunt. Uh, with a vowel in ah, uh, to uh, sound like ant. Uh, with the vowel aunt. in cot. Aunt. Time I have the it. same vowel in ah, in cot. Is about to. Yeah, you have two minutes. All right. Okay. We can pause now and then. No, let's. I think I. I we're halfway there. Oh, we're. <laughs> yeah, we still got some time. Fuck. Okay. I uh, have the vowel in ah, cot, I, and aunt. To two sound, sound like, like ain't. Okay, these are just too. I'm getting bored. Yeah. I just started zoning up. Yeah. I pronounce like ant. Ant. Like yeah. a bug. Yeah. Say like ant. So, there we go. Okay. What do you call something that is across both streets from you at an intersection or diagonally across from you okay. in general? So, what do you call something that is across both streets from you at an intersection? Just explained it. I just felt like I got to explain it again. Okay. Because I was zoning out. No, that's fair. It's like is listening it my, to... Is it my voice? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. It's just fine. Very, it's, like, it's like listening to a young kid mm-hmm. who can like barely read. Yeah, I, I he's can like, He's I not can. in the book thief group. He's in the, you know, Charlotte's Web group. Yeah, I can barely read. I, I admit it. Like, I, I haven't, the last time I read a book was ages ago. I, no, I think it's, you need glasses, dude. Or I, contacts. Do I need fucking glasses, dipshit? You brought them and you're not wearing them? Yeah, because it's... Cause oh, it, yeah, we can't have two guys yeah. on the episode wearing glasses. Yeah, uh, also, I look like a certain uh, gay s- cannibal serial killer. Was he gay? I don't know. Do you know he drilled holes into people's heads? Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. All right. Going yeah. back to this Let's happy back. thing. So, kitty corner, kitty corner, cater corner, catty corner, kitty cross, kitty wampus. Okay. I would just say diagonal. Yeah, I'd just say diagonal, too. Why are people overcomplicating this? Why are there so many words? Why do people make so many words? What do you call the large wildcat native to the Americas? Mountain, mountain lion. A cougar. Puma. A.K.A. your mom. Stop talking about my fucking mom. 
uh, Puma, Mountain Cat, Panther, Catamount, Mountain, Mountain Screamer. Screamer, Painter, and other. Like three, three what does Painter things, mean? Like three of those things are different animals. <laughs> yeah. What's, I've never heard of Catam- Catamount. I, all I've known is Cougar. No, like you haven't ever heard mountain lion? Mountain lion? No, is mountain what? lion. I've heard that one too. Especially but in like, Utah, because we got lions that are in the mountains here. Yeah, but I just call them cougars. That's what we call the moms of Draper, though. Yeah, that's true. We call that all. All right, I say mountain lion. Ben, Ben okay, says mountain lion. Okay, that's fair. All right. What well, do you call a traffic jam? This almost sounds like it's a bad setup for like a like a pun, line, like yeah. a bad joke. What do you call a traffic jam caused by drivers slowing down to look at an accident or other diversion on the side of the road? Bad driving. Rubberneck. Rubbernecking. <laughs> what? what? These are all like the same. Rubbernecking is the activity slowing down and gawking that causes the traffic jam, but I have, I have no, no word, word for, for the traffic, traffic jam itself. <laughs> <laughs> these are so specific. Gabriel Very Block. Uh, you know shit? Uh, Josh Katz and Wilson Andrews. Oh my God. Yeah, go send them an email. I think they know their stuff, though, because this was pretty As part of our business email. Uh, Gapers Block, Gapers Delay, Looky Lou, Curiosity Delay, Gawk, Gawk Block. block. <laughs> I have no. I like. I like that one. Gawk, yo, well, look at all these guys. Yeah, Gawk, yeah, blocking Gawk Block in the fuck. I have no word for this and other. Yeah, I've heard. I, ca- I call it rubbernecking. I, really? Have you guys never called it? No, anything? I've heard of it. Like when people are like, yeah, he was rubbernecking. Yeah, so. it's just like when you like you're driving right. and then you see. Yeah. A all right, Tesla rubbernecking's just it. Rolled Here we over. Go. Like yeah. everyone just stops and. Dude, remember today when that truck cut me off? Twice? Two yeah. tr- different trucks. Yeah. If you drive a truck, I hate you. My dad drives a truck, dick. Sorry, Mr. Gilbert, but you're a bad person. Okay. Uh, what do you call a drive in li- drive through liquor store? First of all, not I, existent. Yeah, I don't think that we, <laughs> we don't have a single one, right? Well, I mean, actually, no? people have been asking Governor Herbert to legalize like delivery alcohol because of the pandemic and they're like yeah we need it to be safe so can you get, can we deliver alcohol now which i think is or not even not even deliver just do like a carry out thing yeah. to like the curbside mm-hmm. pickup curbside pickup for like a keg we should legalize kegs in utah yeah. that's another thing Why in utah are they I that yeah there we in utah we do not Science have kegs curtain. we also have like really weak beer like we're what at the national hey now average we're at now? like, like now we're finally at the net na- like yeah what? five now when five we, percent yeah, when we alc alcohol, they used to work at rio tinto we watered that shit so you oh, guys absolutely. have to water it down at rio tinto well it came watered down just because of utah yeah oh, right. because, because before no. the average was like three two in utah and now like it's five it, yeah apparently beer makers were sick of making specific special yeah. beer for utah it was literally only utah too washington yeah i think that's why they stopped because there's like two other states that i think that used our legal limit yeah. but then they just legalized their limit to the mm-hmm. national average and then every other company was like you know what yeah it's just kick you right. what do you call a drive through liquor store a brew through party <laughs> barn bootlegger <laughs> beer barn beverage barn we have these in my area but we have no special term for them i have never heard of such a thing so i yeah I've i didn't even know this existed I, yeah. that's sick that's yeah, pretty fuck cool, we though. need a we yeah we need to find one if we can I'm there. Go to drive throughs to put in processed foods into our body. We can we can do that without alcohol. Yeah. Alright, how do you pronounce the words M A R Y Mary, comma, M E R R Y Mary and M A R R Y Mary. All three are pronounced the same. Yeah. Do we Mary, need to? Mary, and Mary. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So and then all the others do people, and, yeah. how do you pronounce these different Mari? I'm gonna get Mary tomorrow. Mary. Oh, I knew a couple girls. That got I'm gonna Mari. marry that girl, Paul, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna marry so my Murray. sister. My name is John Whitaker. <laughs> oh, Christ, that was so sad. You thought that it was pretty funny. No, I thought it was funny because it, it was like inbred hillbillies, but also like looking at it from like a humanitarian no, as point of view. the longer we like watched it, yeah. the sadder I got. Yeah, it was just like Jesus Christ. Five generations of inbreeding. Yeah, these people are fucked up. And they look like hammerhead sharks. Mm-hmm. Like their eyes are like fucking different directions. I was talking to someone about that, and they're like, you know what? You shouldn't be so mean to them. They don't know any better. Better. And I was like, you don't think it might be good to know? Like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have intercourse with my sister. And people just don't know. I mean, they do it with dogs, but dogs are built differently than humans, so that's not a really sound. <laughs> I think that, that's a big enough so, clue. Yeah. Like, yeah. this it's is not a not sound argument like. to really have. Anyways, uh, I uh, say all three. Yeah, they're all the same. same. Anyway, yeah, Mary, Mary. All right. What do you call the small freshwater lobster? Uh, yeah, we don't have. No, crawdads. Crawdads? Just finish the question, though. What do you call the small freshwater lobster often found in lakes and streams? Crawfish, crayfish, craw, crowfish, 
crawdad, mudbug. Mudbug. I have no word and other. I feel like mudbug is a cute nickname. Yeah, it's also a really stupid nickname. So I say crawdad. I've never yeah, called same. It. The thing is, like, I've never called any of these things. They're anything. so funny. You go to, like, Moab and you can, like... They have them in Moab? Yeah, put a hot dog in, like, a... No, not Moab, sorry. Uh, like, Flaming Gorge. Oh, they're in Flaming Gorge. Yeah. Put a hot dog you guys ever read Where the Crawdads Sing? Crawdads Sing, that book? Where the Crawdads Sing by Delilah Jones? I think so. Yeah, no, I've never heard of it. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've never read it. How do you pronounce the second syllable of pajamas? With the With the vowel and sham? In the palm palm. Just say pajamas. 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 I call them jammy jams. Usually I call them pajamas. <laughs> I like to get my jammy jams at night. I call it nudity because I sleep naked. Of course, you pervert. <laughs> what do you think call about it? the children? Yeah. What do you call a traffic situation in which several roads meet in a circle, roundabout? Rotary, roundabout, roundabout circle, circle, traffic, traffic circles, 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 traffic, traffic surface. surface. I have no word for this. Other, roundabout. Roundabout. Did you know in the Caribbean, like in St. Martin, these mm-hmm. are customary. So like there's Roundabouts? Not, yeah. There's like barely any streetlights. And the studies have shown that they're more efficient at yeah, preventing accidents. Yeah, huh. they're safer. That's weird because everybody in fucking Draper, like that roundabout over by the Draper Park, on, on everyone's, a a fucking, Road. everyone's a fucking dick about it. Oh, it's because no, we're not used to yeah, it. Nobody knows how to fucking drive no in a circle. It. It's fucking stupid. It's because no one wants your gross... Mazda 6 next to their nice Tesla 3 or whatever. Yeah, of course they wouldn't, but I mean, I got to drive too, so people <laughs> have to make like to just drive around it. Just yeah, I, 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 went, just... Well, I went for 10 minutes once just yeah, driving around it. It's great. What do you call the small road parallel to the highway? Frontage road, service road, access road, feeder road, gateway. We have them, but I have no word for them. I've never heard of this and other. Is that just that little lane like on the inside, like to the left of the yeah. HOV lane? Yeah. I've always called it a frontage. I've never called it anything. I I know the term like it's a frontage road. I've never used it in my life. Yeah. So you've you call it a frontage road, Ben? I literally R and R the road itself is called frontage road. Frontage road. Yeah. Well, what do you call it, Ash? I call it frontage. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go call it frontage. What would you call it? I don't have a word for it. What do you call it? Big road on which you drive relatively. This sounds so. This almost sounds silly. Highway. Like the way it's. Freeway. Parkway. Turnpike. Expressway. Throughway like, slash throughway. A freeway is bigger than a highway. <laughs> a freeway is free. Doesn't charge tolls. A highway isn't. A freeway has limited access, no stoplights, no intersections, whereas a highway can have stoplights and intersections. Wow. I don't think... This, do people think about this this specifically? Yeah, no. There's the same I would just call it... I just call it highway. I highway. Agree. I mean, like, the thing is, it's not asking, like, what is right. It's just saying, what do you call this big road? No, no. What? I think this. I think it's the second one from the bottom. Yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying like, what do you call? I just call yeah. everything like the freeway. Yeah. What do you call it? I call. It, yeah, I call. It I don't. Freeway. I use. The, I just use it interchangeably. Bader, I don't really. Is a highway. Yeah. All right. But I-15's a freeway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're understanding my yeah. point, Ben. Just what would you call it? Yeah, we're not a saying freeway? like what is the correct. Yeah. Like lingo. if you were getting onto I-15. I just say it's the freeway. That's a freeway. Okay, right, but I'm just. Banger, it would be a highway, yes, correct? But we're but not just, we're just what in we're general not, we're terms. We're not asking you what's. Yeah, I'm getting angry now. Why is it that? Why is it there then? Uh, that's it's just saying that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ben. I yeah, didn't make. Yeah. I didn't make the fucking test. You can't Josh ask and Wilson me. don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. What, what do you call the area of grass between the sidewalk and the road? Berm, parking, tree lawn, terrace, curb strip, beltway, verge. I have no word for this. And other. I know it's called something, but I don't. Well, that's the thing. Look, everything's called something. Well, <laughs> Sidewalk sorry. in the road. Sidewalk in the road and the grass. So, like, just like that little part of, or that little splotch of grass. Goes, yeah. On the sidewalk, then yes, it's grass. Yeah, so it's like curb, street, the street, grass, sidewalk. Yeah. I don't call yeah. that, I just call that grass on the sidewalk. Yeah, I just call it a parking strip. Really? What Do, do you call it anything, Ben? I don't think I call it anything. But I, I have no word for this. Yeah. All right, I guess this is it. I have no word. We're three questions from the What do you call the insect that flies around in the summer and glows in the dark? Firefly. Firefly. Lightning bug. I use lightning bug and firefly interchangeably. Peeny Wally? Peeny Wheelie. Thank you. But that's an A. Wally. Peeny Wheelie? It's Peely Wally? Wally? I I think it's Wally. I have have no no word word for for this. this other. 
I use both interchangeably. I use Firefly. Firefly. Yeah. Oh my God! Why did you guys only use one word? Because why use lot big word when st- I'm not gonna because the office. <laughs> I fuck yeah, the you office. Yeah, you said you hate it. No, I fucking hate the office. Okay. The Next. thing is, the people. I think the reason why people love the office is because it's so Cringy. applicable. How's it applicable? Well, because like just right here. I mean, just th- there's just instances mm-hmm. of life that could be. Yeah. You know, summed up with an office quote. Okay. But I'm not saying I'm proud of it or yeah. I'm happy with it. All right. What do you call the small gray bug that curls up into a ball when it's touched? You can list those off. Those Pill bug, lot. doodle bug, potato bug, roly poly, sow bug, basketball bug, twiddle bug, roll up bug, wood loose, millipede, centipede. I know what this creature is, but I have no word for it. <laughs> I have no idea what this creature is. I, I roly, yeah, I do roly poly. I, I just do potato bug. Okay. I use potato, potato bug. I've used that too. So we'll we'll count it. We'll count it on this wood episode. Lo- How do you pronounce this? Uh, wood L O wood loose. Yeah, I think it would loose. God, why are people so stupid? Why do you think I make up fake words? Yeah, I don't know. Technically, do all call? languages are just made up. Yeah, but the thing is, English is just you know. Yeah, superior. Yeah. Uh, what do you call an? E- e- <clears throat> I've <laughs> it's been superior uh, when you can speak it. I've had such hard time speaking lately. I've been having like strokes. Uh, what Maybe do you call an easy high school or college class? Gut, crypt course, crip course, bird, crypt. <laughs> blow off. You know what I'm saying? Meat and other. Meat? Uh, yeah, hey, I'm taking meat this semester. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, meat is the history of meat. Yeah. I. I bird? I don't think we have a word. What is meat. wrong with. I blow off. Yeah, the only other it's one I've off. heard is blow off. Blow off is the one that only. is the one that. It's the only one that makes sense. Yeah. Crypt course? No. Crypt. What is crip? And this one's spelled like the game. Yeah. Are they saying that only crips take these courses no, and that's why it's easy? <laughs> gut? Cut gut? Gut class? Like, hey, I'm gonna go to gut class, which is probably like an easy A. Beatty's um, financial literacy. Yeah. I don't know. Don't, don't you dare talk shit about it. I'm not talking crap yet. on it. I'm just saying that that class She's was a the hero. Easiest. Yeah, I no, wish I, no, I wish she, she I wish I learned something. She was tight. I love she was Katie. dope, but I wish I learned more about Roth IRAs and how to invest. Wait, so you He's such a baby. Wait, so you call it yeah, it's just a blow off yeah. class. Like, oh, take this class. It's a blow off class. Easy yeah, A. Yeah, easy A. Easy A should be on this too. Yeah, well, I mean, we, that could be other. Yeah, well, I'm saying like you use that. Yeah, I've, I've, you said, I, oh, it's a blow off class or an easy yeah. A. Those are probably the most common, most normal, most. Well, yeah. all right. Shall we submit it? Looks like Let's it knows it. where we are. Utah? I guess we are, our dialect is very similar to people in what? Oregon? Oregon? And w- Washington? Hey, pioneer Day. They came through. We just wanted to get the word. All right. Let's see. It's going to give us something like fucking wow. Modesto. Please map. Show Wait, your salt. Wow. All right. So this, so your map. So according to this map, that is a map of the entire U.S., we are most similar to the West Coast then slowly less in the Midwest, and then on the East Coast, we have no similarities. Yeah, we have no similarities. But the thing is, this map knows that we are from Salt Lake City. Potato bug? Okay. Wow. What, what, where's Modesto? Oh, it's in California? I guess we're also similar to people from Modesto, California, and mm-hmm. Stockton, California. So if any listeners out there from these parts in California, let us know. No. Get, we'll give you a call, and we can just Shout talk out. about stuff. <laughs> Yeah, stuff. It's great. You're really good at promoting our shit. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of the wait around here. I've been carrying this show <laughs> for a minute now, so that's true. Yeah. That's cool. How do you guys feel about our culture here? Our culture here is. Yeah, our culture is our culture. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Just like how some people in Asia poop in the streets. It's just we like fry sauce and yeah. we like being fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All like, right. Should we go to oh. break? Let's go to break. All right, we're going to be right back, guys. Oh, oh, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I hope that was a- Come on, it's my fucking thing. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to go. fucking do it. God, you're like, fucking making me wait for this beer? Jesus Christ. I'll never wait for a beer again. Never wait on a beer. Never wait on a beer. Not even for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Turn the headphones up, OQ. Got Budweiser you today. Stuff. You got what? Budweiser. What did you think? Bud, what did you I think you I said? said? I got butt wiped today. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the golf course. Yeah, you, you got the bath- butt wiped today. You were I in like to the your... bathroom for like ten minutes. <laughs> I didn't know if some guy, some fucking like rich white dude, was like, "Oh, are you the little boy they sent me?" And then just wiped you just your fucking <laughs> ass or something. <laughs> I don't know. I thought. <laughs> 
I just said, you got, <laughs> you look so concerned. Yeah, I was just like, what the fuck? I was so confused because <laughs> I just said, you got Budweiser today. Like, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Budweiser? Yeah, I, I got go, Budweiser today. No, but yes, I did get boat wiped today. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Was it that was it that older looking gentleman that I gave a beer to on, on the course? Yeah, Dave. And Chem. <laughs> Chem. Who Chem? Name? Yeah. If your what name is fuck? Chem, yeah, ben, reevaluate your life. Yeah, fucking get this. Oh, we, yeah, so when, what happened today? When we, Did anything else happen when we went golfing today? Not really. I lost like 25 fucking balls. Yeah, you 137, bro. Yeah. I not. shot a gross 89, but still. Yeah, so. It's like still on the average okay side on that. But anyways, anyways, so yes. Yeah, we, first hole, right? It was the first hole? Yeah. Yeah, and there we started was. on the back nine. No, we were on the second hole, and there was like this, uh, like these two dudes behind us. And they were good old Chem and Dave. Yeah, Chem and Dave, and like Carlos was just like, "Hey, let him play through." I'm like, "Okay." And then you threw like five balls. Just yeah, you should just took taking your balls and just threw them into yeah, the little. Yeah, pretty pod. much. I probably would have gotten a better score if I just hucked them. Oh, you honestly yeah. probably would have. <laughs> so, so anyways, these guys pull up and they're just like, Carlos is like, "Hey, do you guys want to play through?" And they're like, "You know what? Yeah, like for sure. Like you go for it." It's like, "Hey, you know, I'd I'd give you a beer." And then you know, I had a couple beers in my pack, and I was just like, "Hey, do you guys want a beer?" And they're like, "Yeah, fuck it." Corona. Very yeah, fitting. gave them two. Uh, Corona extras, they're like little seven ounce bottles, and I made I made two friends. No, they're nice people. They're very nice. Yeah. His name is Chen. The, there like, was like this dude with like the stereotypical like '90s faux hawk, yeah. and then there was Chem who looked like this older gentleman. He just had like kind of longer hair yeah. and just fucking. He just yeah, yeah. They're just like white they're super nice. Golf. Like they're yeah. so nice. Thing is, like those people are always nice to see because yeah. when it's just you and I, things get intense. Like we like I was telling you earlier, so I was telling Ashton mm-hmm. that. You know how when there's people in your life, they make, like, it's nice to be around them or work with them or play anything with them yeah. because they kind of just make you re- lighthearted. They ma- yeah, it's lighthearted. They make you see things in a different perspective that yeah. you kind of get tunnel vision. So you're focusing on one aspect, yeah. but then they just kind of puncture that tunnel. And they're like, oh, yeah, we can have fun while doing this. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I can't do that. Which is true. <laughs> I mean, playing golf with this dude, fuck, unbearable. Yeah, no, I'm well, just kidding. You just got better at it. Well, yeah. No, it I was mean, good. if you were better at it, then if I would I have was to. better. We would have fun. No, absolutely. No, it was a good time today. You showed me a lot. You you gave me some good advice. You're, you were so fickle today oh, with your emotions. Yeah, I just – see, that's like – You're like Utah like, weather. Yeah, <laughs> like today on the golf course is the exact reason I told my dad back in like when I was like a little kid that I was like I don't want to play golf anymore because I would just get so fucking angry. Like no, I was so – Such an angry so kid. So this kid would drive and he would slice it right into the pond, yeah. which is not good. Yeah. Because you don't want to go right in the Right into the rough, you like unplayable it. ball. So you got yes. to grab the like, ball. <laughs> Okay. Then you hit did, the green. Didn't do that. I just verbally screamed fuck like 18 times. I just be like, fuck, fuck. And, and then, then you would take, then you would drop in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. I was being very nice to you in terms Thank of you. ruling. Thank you. I appreciate and it. And you would hit like a decent shot, like maybe 30 yeah. yards straight. Then I'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. You'd be like, is, yeah, yeah, this is so yeah, fun. It's You're golf. Like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Or, and then as soon as I made a bad shot, I'm just like, god damn it, fuck off. This game's fucking dumb and stupid. <laughs> it was just But black overall. And white. It was a good time. A I good thoroughly time. enjoyed Oaks. it. River Oaks was a good course. It was better than Pebble Brook. Absolutely. Sorry, Gary. Was it expensive? It was it, forty-six bucks. That was a, that was the same price it, for both of us to pay. Yeah. Jesus. That for was a card. His, that was forty-six dollars. Yeah, it's was, ninety-six. No, ninety-two dollars. Yeah. Total. That was with like the, card, the same. 18. That was the same price over at uh, Pebble Brook. Pebble Brook. Oh, then yeah. When funny. I went Sunday, but might be just like a weekend. It's higher pricing, like you were saying. So. Mm-hmm. Thing is, like, even if your golf skills don't do that well, at least your writing skills kind of compensate for it, right? Yeah, God didn't make me a good golfer. He made me a good writer. He made you an adequate writer. Well, good. Good writer. Not adequate. Subpar. Mm. Decent. No. Okay. I'm a birdie, for sure. A Bernie? I'm a birdie. Sanders? No. Birdie? Like, in golf? Like, I'm a birdie. In writing? Yeah. So you're just, okay. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> yes. Have you heard of the Dunning Kruger no. effect? Are you, do you want to know what it is? Yeah. Let's so it. it's the psychological phenomenon yeah, where people expect, or so if someone's entirely unexperienced in something, okay. then they project their own beliefs to be much more better than that. Okay. So like the idea is, as you get more actually educated in so, in an area of something, you expect to be like you actually at are it. more humble you actually know acknowledge that you don't really know anything rather when an amateur thinks they know everything they really don't know much okay here i'll pull up a graph i don't think that's me though <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the point. i mean maybe it is who knows 
So here's a yeah, graph. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Thing is, like, how I much? Would know. I'm sure if we let's, let's find a like a official screenwriter who's published movies and just have them. We should have them critique your writing. Yeah, on air. Yeah, and have them just be super mean about it. That'd yeah, be so but they're funny. not going to be mean. They're going to be like, wow, this is the best shit I've ever heard. Like, Can I give you $125,000 to make your movie? Did a 12-year-old write this? Yeah, oh, okay. but, they, but they wouldn't All say right, that. So, Ashley, they would, you want to yeah. explain this graph of the stunning Kruger effect? Probably not, because I can't do it, because I'm I mean, uh, if you, I mean I'm just slow. can you read it? Okay, so there's one arrow going so up. So it's an X and Y axis. Okay, thank you. I knew what that was. There's an arrow going up. It says confidence. And then there's an arrow going to the right along says, on the x-axis yeah says knowledge and field okay and so, so yes at the bottom at zero zero on the axis it says huh go. question mark which is probably like what the fuck is this then going up, up i know everything which is like confidence but not really a lot the knowledge in the field right. section so like you're very confident but how much do you actually know okay and then going down it kind of curves so, down yeah so as you know actually get more yeah. educated on something as it goes then your more, confidence goes yeah. down as it goes more to the right it says there's more to this than i thought then going down more onto the y, x axis x is horizontal y is vertical okay on the x axis <laughs> i didn't hear what you were saying so Okay, anyways, it goes down a little bit more. It says, I'm never going to understand this, which is like, oh, yeah, I'm bummed. And then it kind of starts curving up. I think you're missing the point of this. No, problem. absolutely, I am. <laughs> it starts, yeah, just keep going, keep going. It starts curving you're up a little great. bit, and it says it's starting to make sense. And then it curves a little bit more, and it says, trust me, <laughs> it's complicated. And it's all the way over to the right of the knowledge and field and a little bit higher in the confidence. So, like, I think people who are just listening are just having a stroke trying to understand what yeah. you're explaining. Did I? So this, I mean, like you, you read it. Explain it. So yeah, I'm just, I read so it. So this graph is just expl or visu visually explaining what I was explaining. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. So I'm I'm just saying, as you grow, actually grow more knowledgeable in a field of something, then yeah. your confidence actually starts to go up. Okay. But the thing is, when you're really uneducated in something, that's when your confidence is extremely high. So yeah. you're like, you're just okay. pretty much ignorant okay. to an All extent. All right. So here's what I'm gonna say in my defense of that. And we're talking about golfing. Like, this is what applies to, like, golfing, right? I, I was more so just talking about your screenwriting. Oh, okay. Well, for both things. Okay, well, just for golfing. I mean, I'm not saying your screenwriting is bad. Like, I, I, like, I enjoy it. Maybe it is bad. I don't know. I'm it's just not. saying I enjoy it. It's not, though. All right. Okay, thank you. Anyways, here's what we're going to do then. If you think it's within that field somewhere, why don't you and I read something that I wrote together? Yes, let's do it. But first, Ben, you had a question? I was just going to say it. People, you, yeah. you're guilty of it. Oh, of course. We all are. Yeah. Not me, though. Like, Not me. But have we met anyone that's truly, like, a, like who have, truly like, experiences? I can't think of anyone right now. I mean, other than this guy who wants to show me his script. I'm kidding. Shall we read the script? Yeah. All right. So, so explain. Get, what time are we at, Ben? Uh, you're about to hit 10 minutes. All right. So give us a synopsis of the script. Okay, synopsis. Uh, so hey, I'm uh, not sure if I used synopsis correctly. Yeah. Did I? Little humbling moment here. What does synopsis mean? Psych. Just kidding. I know what it means. I'm not fucking dumb. I don't know if I know if it, did I use it right? Yeah, probably. You're fine. Brief summary or general. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Okay, okay. so I get, sometimes I use words what and get words did, that I what use my them script is? I have done it's a little twenty-minute thing I was gonna make for YouTube. It's like a post-apocalyptic, and it's about these dudes who are trying to like, basically these you know everybody's struggling. Can I interrupt you? Go ahead. If you're trying to pitch this like right now, it sounds like you don't even know what you're pitching. No, you're like, I understand. Like, I I'm also like I'm also like one and a half tall boys deep, so. Thing is, then you should be confident about this. So no, I'm this confident is, about it. I'm just explaining it to you. I'm just, I want you to be, just, huh? Do an elevator pitch. You got like 30 seconds to just explain. Okay, so it's a post-apocalyptic uh -huh. post uh, story. What it's about is it's about a like bunch of drifters are going around struggling, and it's just basically more based on like the kind of religious things that happen. Like when, when people get like all crazy, they turn to like religion and like other gods and idols and shit. So what else like, can you turn? So it goes more back to like religious times and like worshiping these false idols all right. these gang leaders that are gods all right and anyway. so the characters for the Anyways, scene that me and Ashton I'll suck are going your dick to read to get right the show produced that's all you had to say okay. that should just been your pitch yeah i will suck you off all right perfect okay so so the characters in this uh the characters in this scene are the woodsman which is like a 
big boss. He's a gang leader. That's and right. He that's me. That's what's a certain up. You know territory. what I'm saying? And I'm going to be the drift or the woodsman in this scene. Yes, and I will be <coughs> dying of Corona. I will be. God damn, fucking hate you, Ben. Gave me Corona, you piece of shit. I will be Drifter, and then there's a third character at the very end, and he will be a uh, masked man. I will mark that as you. All right, so, so I'll be masked man flow. and woodsman. Okay, and then if you want to, since uh, I'm not good at reading, you can You have be... your phone, though. Correct. Oh, oh, I thought you were bad at reading because you don't have your glasses on, but I can read the... Direction. Yeah. You read the directions, scene heading, cut-ins, right. stuff like that, and then I'll do the dialogue. Only. All right. Okay. Uh, director, which is going to be Ben, say action. Action. He said action. <clears throat> uh, line? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to come out until I get a ref- refreshments table. I'm going to stay in my trailer. Shia. Shia. Stop it. Yo. Do you think Shy? Do you think Shy the fucking beef would be in my movie? <laughs> of I was going for more of a Chevy he's, Chase. He's coming back. Chevy Chase sucks. He's, he's coming oh, back. he's on his way up, dude. Peanut Butter Falcon. Yeah. Anyways, let's read the script, shall we? <laughs> you keep getting. Go. Okay, start us off, Drifter. <clears throat> no, you start. Okay. We're on page eight. Yeah, top of page eight, my guy. Okay, the format is different then, because it says Drifter. <laughs> no, this Price. is what makes it fun. Okay. <laughs> so, Exterior. Go to Exterior Woodsman's okay, we're, Tunnel Okay, this is not page eight, then. So you might be different because... Here, how find <laughs> You might be different. Y'all might be different. Okay. Y'all might be different. Okay, you're close. All right, okay, right here? Yes. Okay, see? So already, the Dunning-Kruger effect has been... Suck my dick. Because you... Suck my fucking it, dick. Your format's already off. No, it's not off. It's just you're on a larger format. That's the form. It's the iPad. Yeah, it's the iPad. I'm dead serious. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't get upset. I'm upset me. because this is my magnum opus. I know. I, you are, you're good. Good. Right. Okay, so you want me to read the scene directly? Yeah, and, I w- and we're going to stop when you say, I know a lot more than your name. That's the final line you're going to say. Just and, give yeah. me a cue. Okay. Because you're going to, you know when it's done. Okay. All right, so I'll read the scene direction. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it took us 10 take minutes. It from, take it back to one. All right. Action. Exterior Woodsman Tunnel. Day. Cut in. The drifter is thrown in front of a large tunnel, surrounded by other people in masks. Two of the masked men grab the drifter and bring him to his knees. A man begins walking down the tunnel, covered in shadow. He slowly makes his way to the entrance of the tunnel in full lighted view. The man is taller than most, wearing a plate carrier and a long sleeve red shirt and a heavy jacket and worn jeans. He's carrying a woodsman axe and a revolver on his side and is wearing half a skull mask. He looks down at the drifter, then looks at the two other men in masks. They retreat back, letting go of the drifter. What are you doing on our turf? I was being chased. All right, I, I, ran, I ran through here. Do you know who I am? Uh, not a clue, man. I am the woodsman. These are my woods, and you are on the wrong side of them. Listen, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Everyone knows that you get my wood. <laughs> I was improv. I'm sorry. I'll take it. Back. No, it's Everyone, okay. I just I thought I would try my own thing. No, I appreciate it, Ben. As the wo- <laughs> okay. All right. Everyone knows these are my woods. No one enters or leaves without me knowing. I make the rules here, and you have violated them. Listen, just just let me go. Get out of your hair. You'll never hear from me again. Swear to God. A lot of people have made that same statement. You know what happened to all of them? My old axe here met their skull. Now quit begging for your life and die with some dignity. The woodsman grabs his axe and heaves it over his shoulder. He hops down from the tunnel and crouches. It's nothing personal. The woodsman stands up and looks around at all the other woodsmen. He starts to lift the axe above his head, ready to swing into the drifter's skull. He does another scan of the woodsman. He stops and looks ahead of him and sees a woodsman and Reggie being brought to him. He lowers his axe. A woodsman brings Reggie to where the drifter is kneeling and drops him on the ground next to him. The woodsman looks at Reggie and then the woodsman. Great work. No problem. (laughs) Is that direction? Is the max man a nice man? No, he's. It would spoil something, but yeah, he's like he's like a he's like a hitman basically, and he's like infiltrating. No problem. The woodsman looks over at the woodsman. You're not supposed to speak during the ceremony. Well, shoot. What can I say? Trey, how do you know my name? I know a lot more than your name. 
Cut. I wanted to take a different direction with the mask. <laughs> no, man. that's no, that's fair. That's I fair. I think the mask man should be happy, man. Uh, he, because he's, he's wearing a mask. Yeah, no, I don't get, we all wear masks? Well, yeah, but he he's like infiltrating that group, so he's more of like he he's like a gruff military sergeant type dude. Okay. Like you know, he's seen some shit. Well, after this table read, I want to let's make this. I'll give you fifty grand to make this. Perfect. Well, actually, how about we make a western instead? That <laughs> I, I want to make this one. How would you feel? Well, this is some... just like a YouTube series, so we can. I want to make YouTube series. Okay. How would you feel if someone? What if Gail Miller was like Ashton Gilbert? I want to give you fifty grand, but I don't want to make that black box movie. Mm-hmm. Do you have any other things you can show? I'd show her literally everything I got in there. Like I have tons of scripts in there. Are I'm, they all finished or just like some of them of are like in the yeah some of them are in the process of being finished like and then others are just like completely left to rot like I haven't touched them in years. So it happens. Yeah, with the artistic I'm, mind. Yeah. So I would honestly say like if if someone was like, hey, I want to produce like. I want to produce something of yours, but it's not going to be this movie. I would take it because I need to get my name out there. All right. You ready for critiques? Yeah, go ahead. Um, None, right? Ha, thanks. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for episode five. This was so great. I feel like the woodsman had too much dialogue. I think he should be a bit kinder. I think kinder? he needs to be nicer. Like, you... Why would he bring an axe down on the drifter's head? That's so mean. He's a gang member. Murder is not good. This man violated his territory. Yeah, he's, he's like a strong, strong. man. No, he speaks. Well, like he's he's he, kind of his, speaking his briefly. Words also but then have there's like power. this one. Like he speaks to like all these like other people that are like worship him as like a god, and like oh. a god has to speak to his people. So, thank you, but try again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, yeah. but facts don't care yeah, about your feelings. Don't ever ben. come at me again, Ben, about my shit. Uh. uh all right, well, honestly, I can't really critique it because I was too busy perfect. getting to character, so I didn't really read it, so I just quickly reread it. And okay. I think you should just throw it all away. Okay, that's perfectly fair. That's my critique. All right, perfect. I'm sorry, it's got to be a sandwich compliment or a sandwich critique. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that you can type. Throw this entire script away. Okay. I like your hair. All right, Thank moving you. on. Thank you. I'm kidding, no, it was pretty solid. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Are you ready for some real comedy hours? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's transition fucking, into something yeah, different. Yeah, everybody. So Ashton likes to screenwrite. I've been wanting to do stand-up for a minute now. It's kind of hard to do it with the pandemic, the pandy, yeah, the pandemic. You were, pandy, yeah. You were telling me you were uh, doing some, going to a couple uh, open mics or something. Yeah, some so I did stand-up. a couple of open mics, one in Provo at Improv Broadway, which is a clean club, so it's really nice to is bring out my inner there? gym gaff again. What? Is there alcohol there? It's an it's a clean comedy oh, God, venue. What do you think? Sucks. No. Of course they have Stop. alcohol. They do? No. <laughs> God, Don't I'm ever funny. get my hopes up about alcohol again, you Isn't piece of funny? shit. But I wanted thought it'd be funny to introduce <sighs> my monologue style jokes like the night show, like with Stephen Colbert mm-hmm. or Jared not Jared. Jared Leto. Did he have a talk show? Yeah, Jared Leto had a talk show. And then also just like the monologue style. So no, these, Jared, no, you're thinking of Jane Leno, not Jared Leto. Yeah, I know. He I was realized the Joker. That. He yeah. was the Joker. And he's also the singer in 50 Seconds to Mars. No, that one Ben with that involves the Mars name and a time duration. Yeah. But so my jokes, I wrote to these. What? 30, se- 30 seconds to Mars. There we go. Half a minute. Half a second to Mars. Or half a minute to Mars. Okay. So these jokes were written about a week ago. Mm-hmm. A week ago. Bobby Schmidt. Free Bobby. 2020. He's going he's gonna to get be, back in December, dude. I'm he's juiced. definitely going to be he's free to, he's this gonna fucking December. Drop something. No shit. He's dropping something. Oh, no. You know he is. Oh, he's been riding that shit in the cell. Have you heard Hot N-Word yeah. on Android? Mm-hmm. On Android? Let me show you this real quick. Okay. Because this, I think everyone needs to see We're this. We're getting just so sidetracked. We have 10 right minutes. Now. My jokes ten are going to take like three minutes. Okay. So th- let's just pretend this is my talk show and I am Carlos Potavong. Say, like, uh, before I start my monologue, I just want to show you guys a song. I hate you that you censored it. This has been recorded. Okay. So this is just 11 yes, seconds. Have you heard this? Yeah, you showed me this. So sad for all you Android users out there that can't listen to yeah. the Bobby Schmurda hit on an iPhone. Yeah, can't, can't afford the big bucks over here. Can't Sorry. afford the big bucks. Gotta, you got to be dropping... Dollar dollar bills. Dollar if you bills, want to listen to Bobby in All high right. quality. Now, throwing it back. 
So, yes, I've been wanting to do stand-up. This is my monologue jokes that I wrote last week, and I hope that these are still somewhat relevant. Okay. So. And Ashen, I'm going to have you introduce me. You're okay. the comedy club mm-hmm. MC. Okay. So just start us off how you would want. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the uh, Comedy Factory. I'm here with, uh, you know, I'm here with the great, lovely crowd out here today. I got, you know, a couple a couple familiar faces, a couple new faces here coming up on the row here. Um here at the Comedy Factory, we're all about opening our horizons to new comedy. And one of the hottest new comics coming out of the street, his name, Carlos. Actually, I just realized I don't like this intro because this is monologue style. So you should introduce me like we're starting my talk show for the evening. So can, was, we, can we go I back was, to one? I was rolling. And you just, you just fucking interrupted me. I was rolling. That was good. Sorry, man. That's showbiz. Okay. All right. What do you want? Monologue style? No. So just talk show style. Like the Eric on- yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. welcome to the Eric Andre okay. show, or just something with All it. Right. <clears throat> you did great. <laughs> fucking, I was, God damn, I fucking hate you, mess up my flow, okay. All right, everybody, you know him, you love him, hot new comic on the street, everybody, I Carlos Poto Fonse. Yeah, I love you, Carlos. Oh my God, have my fucking kids. Yeah, Carlos, have my fucking kids. Carlos. What's up, guys? Hey. Let me move this out of the way. How yeah. are you guys doing tonight? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's actually pretty shitty. You fucking suck. Wow, look at you. the crowd tonight. You guys are looking good. I didn't know Fabio came tonight. This guy fucking sucks. Wow, look at Fabio. Man, two button, unbutton, chest hair. This is like an ugly Fabio. I didn't realize that Walmart made Fabio people. <laughs> Boo, that so, joke fucking uh, bailed. It sucked. So what else has been going on? Oh, yeah. So Kanye West recently announced that he was going to run for the 2020 presidency to follow President Trump. You know, this is very inappropriate because they both are on the same level as people. They both have married adult actresses. They both have an overwhelming love for Donald Trump. And both think that slavery was not that bad of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Okay. All right. So start, start me off slow. Start me off slow. I like it. Slow burn. Slow burn. Slow burn. Slow burn. All right. Okay. Gisling Maxwell, Gisling Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein's madam, mm-hmm. was recently taken to police custody on four accounts of sex trafficking minors. We've been told by New York officials that she'll be under strict police supervision. This is a good thing either way, because if she goes to prison, we know how well she would be treated by her prisoners. And in police custody, we also know how well our law enforcement treats people of foreign descent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, getting, getting good, getting good here. Still waiting for that burn. Yeah, just, just uh, yeah, tell me something funny. <laughs> Recently, Governor Gary Herbert approved requests for face covering mandates in certain areas in Utah. With no surprise, lots of pushback has been received from the people of Utah saying, we do not want to wear a mask. It's kind of surprising that most people in Utah are okay with wearing one type of garment for their protection, but not another. <laughs> Man, oh, look at this. Do oh, we have fuck. a hyena in the crowd? Yeah, that, no, Someone that. call animal control. <laughs> hey, Fabio, what's your name? Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Hey, I'm Ashton Gilbert. What's up? Oh, How's Ashton. Going? I was yeah. going to ask your mom on a date. Oh, you fuck. Then I remember bestiality is illegal. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I'm done. This is the last episode, guys. This is the last episode. Fuck you. Nike recently pulled Washington Redskins merchandise from their online store apparel amid the team name controversy. If only Nike could pull all of their sweatshop laborers from their clothing factories. If only they could just do it. (laughs) All right, thank you, guys. That's all. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back. You know, that was Carlos. Everybody, you know him. You love him. Let's, uh, Let's give him a warm round of applause. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thank you. You don't have the budget to support this. Wow. Monologue jokes are not my thing. All right. Now, time for some critiques. Let's hear it. Yeah. uh, I mean, I'd cut it. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if you went on on stage with that. eh. No, I thought they were pretty good. Genuinely, they were good. I think you need to work a little bit more on delivery. I was reading them off a of paper. I understand. You should have came prepared. Just like I did today with Budweiser. Budwiper? 
<laughs> that's callback comedy. Call back. God, is. I'm feeling so funny today. I feel like I've been making you guys laugh a lot, so it's been good for my self esteem. No, definitely. You yeah. <laughs> have. Barely. Just barely, though. Just barely. All right. Well, they were good. Need a little bit more help on the delivery. Maybe, uh, I don't know. What didn't you like about my delivery? I don't know. It just seemed kind of like. I was doing the hand gestures. Yeah, I know, but it seemed like you kind of knew, like, the punchline was already, like, kind of happening almost. Like, it almost, like, seemed to me like you were misjudging. So you mean I was punching during the punchline? Yeah. Which is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, but, like, you were punching, like, just a couple seconds before. You know, you know what I mean? No. So like, know. I was pausing at the wrong times. Yeah, you were pausing. Not at the, at the wrong, punch. Yeah, line. you were pausing at the wrong. Interesting. Times. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that into consideration. Thank you. Read yeah. the crowd better. I mean, <laughs> fuck! You could have just roasted me or Ben for like twenty minutes. I would have loved that. Ashton, did you go to stupid school? Uh huh. <laughs> well, you yeah, should dropped you? out. <laughs> ben, what are you? <laughs> Arabic or Chinese and black? My, the best roast me. Because you're, you, you're stupid either way. The best, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this was fun. Yeah. I'm glad we got to show Everybody. Casey our talents. Yeah. No. This was great. I enjoyed it. I enjoy being here with you. And and you. And you. And, and our him. audio producer, Ben. Uh, who everybody saw for the first time today. So now you all have a face. You all have a name to a face. So... Uh, also, if anyone no. listens to this far into the episode, DM me the code word "lookem" spelled L-O-O-K-E-M, then I will give you a gift for listening this far. Yeah. DM us on the Cardigans and Day Drinking yes. uh, official Instagram page. Yes. All okay. right, guys. Well, thank you for listening. See you later. See you next time. I'm Cardigans. I'm Day Drinking. Thanks so much. You did Day Drink today.